Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Brian with you from the GameCom, and we are doing some more AI battles. We're doing TSL, TSL of the Full Earth, and last episode was kind of crazy, as most of our European uh, civs turned out to be free cities now, so <laughs> we got that going. We also uh, had Congo's original capital conquered by Zulu, and then Arabia settled West Africa, and they seem to be thriving over there, so there you go. Uh, India, I forgot which India is which, so one of our Indias uh, fell to the other India. Mongolia fell to well they became free city and then uh, China ended up conquering them and uh, oh yeah the Cree blocked in America so there you go that's kind of interesting uh, Aztecs ended up losing their first settler and oh my gosh dude we have barbarian overload up here jeez so Brazil threw down their third city right now and they have a large area to settle in between and man Brazil's looking scary right now Definitely a little scared. I think Brazil might run away with this. I wish, man, I wish I could have gotten a Colombia. <laughs> Just one. Or, man, even if Aztecs could have settled, if they want to lost their settler, uh, they would at least be able to put some pressure on Brazil. But they're just so far behind right now. Any, uh, 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 Arabia does have two cities now. Samaria is also at five cities. Woof. Woof. Samaria running away, too. Uh, Scotland appeared very dangerous to begin with, and they were actually conquering some of these coastal cities, but, uh, they just pretty much are content now with just London and Stirling, it appears. They have a couple boats, but they hadn't taken any, uh, troops across the sea. And Poland is being, uh, ooh, oh, are they fighting Norway? I think that's what's happening right now. I think they're fighting Norway, and this might actually, ooh, I don't know. I don't know if they stole this settler or if this was a Polish settler, or rather a, uh, I don't know if they stole the settler, I guess is what I'm trying to get at. Khmer did get a second city down, which unfortunately means... Uh, I don't know where Indonesia is going to settle. They're going to have to come over here. Uh, but we'll see about that. <sighs> Australia still only has two cities as well, which is kind of disappointing. And Japan is kind of in the same boat that we are as Indonesia. They're just with the one city and not really too much room to grow. Uh, Korea did end up losing Jinju. But they ended up putting a third city down over there, so they're not falling too far behind. Uh, then over west, let's see. Poland is still there. Yeah, there's not much actually happening right now other than Persia just conquering the world. Or Samaria, rather. Um, Zulu is trying to put a fourth city down. No, nope, third city. Third city. They're also trying to conquer Zanzibar, and I think they're actually going to be able to take Zanzibar. Maybe? Are they allied with Zanzibar? Maybe they're allied with Zanzibar. I'm not entirely sure what's happening there. Because uh, they have a unit inside the city right now. Aztecs to get a second city down. So good for them. Uh, America has a third settler down. I'm just not sure where they're going to be able to put them. They really need to conquer Toronto at this point. Uh, however, it looks like the Korean and Toronto are actually fighting. Maybe. Maybe. If the Kree and Toronto are fighting, the Barbarians are totally helping the Kree. Because, yeah, they are. Oh, man, dude. Those Barbarians. That was clutch. <laughs> they ended up weakening that uh, warrior unit, which just allowed the Kree to completely dominate them. So, uh, mm, man, Kree are looking very dangerous right now. Especially since the Aztecs don't seem uh, to be too interested in going towards uh, California. Poland uh, did manage to survive. But they still only have the one city. And they might actually be the one. They're one of the ones that are in last place right now. Uh, with us as Indonesia. Uh, let's see. Uh, Nubia is uh, at three cities. Congo. Or Zulu still at two. Congo still only at one. So I'm not entirely sure what's happening over here. It's under siege. But I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, Arabia still at two. Uh, Spain also only has one city. They really need to work on grabbing Amsterdam. And I'm not entirely sure why they didn't grab it. Because they do have archers. It has ancient walls, but the walls are, uh, there's holes in them, so they should be able to conquer it, you would think. No, instead they just moved their archer right next to the walls and got immediately owned by the f slinger and the walls. So good job there, good job there, good job there. Okay, how's Scythia doing? One, two, three, four cities, they're about to throw down number five. I'm still very, I still very much, oh, never mind. Wow, okay. What happened? How did you flip? So Korea's capital flipped. Hong Kong put the pressure on you? 
I guess Hong Kong ended up putting the pressure on you and ended up flipping you. So that's really bad because now China is also going to lose the, um, um, uh, uh, Mongolia city. So China is going to be out of the game here in a couple turns, which means Korea now has a lot of room to expand. Um, but this is probably best for Scythia now because they can grab Jinju and uh, pretty much just eat up all of Russia. They're the new Russia this game. Uh, Samaria. Uh, appears that they're actually going in towards uh, Macedon and maybe even Rome over here. So we're going to have to see how that works out. They should be able to grab another settler. Um, the thing is, the map's pretty congested, so not too many uh, settling locations left. So um, it's going to be more, I think, about who conquers cities now than versus who settles. What turn are we on, by the way? Australia still only has two cities, and then they have another settler up here. So it's turn 70, so we're approximately a little, oh, uh, about a fourth of the way through the game, I guess. Brazil has so many barbarians that they're dealing with right now. Zulu ended up finishing a wonder. I'm intrigued to see what wonder it is. Let's see, let's see. Can we see it? Can we see it? Uh, uh, the, 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 yeah, Apadanda. Okay, okay. Still not entirely sure what's happening there with Zanzibar, but okay. Um, you ended up not grabbing the free city settler. Uh, you also still haven't moved in on Pella, so you you also don't have too many units either, so huh. Whatever happened to Zulu? Did they end up putting that city down? They have not yet Also, Spain is still very disappointingly um, unable to take Amsterdam <laughs> It's pretty bad when you can't even take over a free city right on your border So Scythia did get this fifth city down two four five six city now that they took Jinju yeah, and here's the thing. This is where I think Scythia might start rolling here. We're going to have to see. We're going to have to see, but they have a lot of room to expand, and they're about to get some very dangerous units out. So this is a very a scary time if you're anyone uh, not named Scythia. So we shall see. Um, over in America, let's see. Korean America end up declaring war on each other. Doesn't appear so because they're sharing. Uh, they're inside each other's borders. So they actually have open borders with each other. Uh, Toronto also survived the Cree invasion. So uh, three cities for the Cree. And they slowed down a little. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Aztecs are at two. Brazil's uh, at four now. They still have a large barbarian uh, invasion force. Well, um, I guess they have a lot of barbarians still to deal with, but they should be fine. Mapuche, only two cities, and I don't see a third settler yet. So, eh, that's kind of bad. Um, Kilwa is still held by Congo, and I'm not entirely sure still what the Zulu's doing. <laughs> they have a ton of units right now, but they just kind of seem to be chilling. I don't know if they bugged out or what is going on there. One, two, three, four, five, six cities now for uh, Samaria. They ended up moving all the way up here into Western Russia. Or is this Ukraine? This actually is Ukraine, is it not? Well, okay, no, I think it's Russia now. Right? This is the whole Ukraine, part of Ukraine that got conquered by Russia. I don't know. I don't know. This map isn't 100% accurate, so I can't quite tell. I've been doing during the World Cup. I found it rather... Um, uh, I was kind of like, I need to learn my European nations a little bit better. So I've been doing quizzes on all my European nations, so I know where all their locations are. The problem is, you know, not seeing borders, um, and then the map being slightly different, it's still kind of hard to tell sometimes, you know. I'm about 98% now in European nations, which is good. Um, every so, every few of them, I'm, I'm like, wait, wait, which one is this one again? But anyways, uh, Cree, you're still at three, still at two. Not really much happening right now. And this is kind of where we're getting to the game where it's starting to slow down a little bit. Like I'm imagining we're probably what, turn 78, 79? Probably hadn't advanced too many turns. Uh, and part of that's just because we have so many units. So it's just taking an extra a little bit of time for us to, uh, for everyone to move. Because uh, every unit moves uh, individually. So yeah, turn 79. I kind of wish if we would have done online speed, all the guys wouldn't move at the same time, right? I kind of wish that we could do like online rules where everyone's just moving at the same time. Although I'm pretty sure that might like blow up the computer as it's trying to do 40 moves at the same time. <laughs> I don't know if my computer could handle that. I don't know. So let's see. You have the... Oh, that's just you, Uric. Okay. I thought that was a wonder. Hmm. Nice. So Scythia, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, your troops seem to be focusing on the barbarians at this point. Oh, nope. You're going for Kabul. So you're about to get city number seven. So... 
Yeah, yeah. Now, now this is interesting because if they end up going to war with uh, uh, India, India with their elephants could keep uh, Scythia uh, neutralized. Like they could fight back uh, uh, Scythia's invasion, which could make them weaker because they're just going to end up losing a bunch of units um, trying to take over India. Now, Kabul ended up also just finishing walls, so I'm not sure if they're going to be able to conquer that city. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, down in Africa. Still not sure what's going on. <laughs> we have now four cities because Nubia ended up conquering Carthage. So uh, Nubia is at four cities, uh, which is actually um, um, more cities than anyone else in Africa. Arabia is still rolling around with two cities. I'm not sure if they're going to be able to get a third one up. Spain's still trying to take Amsterdam. <sighs> Slowly, slowly, and I could probably say the same thing about Samaria. They're still trying to take over Macedon and Rome and Poland I have no idea what you're doing. However, thank you. Scotland is actually doing something Scotland ended up taking Paris So Scotland could start putting some pressure on I don't know if they're gonna be able to grab Amsterdam or even if they took Amsterdam if they'd be able to hold on to it They really need to come take over Poland, but we'll see how that happens um, Kabul is going to fight back the Scythian invasion. So Sorry, Scythia. And uh, Korea now is up to four cities because they ended up conquering uh, 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 the capital uh, to China. Unfortunately, they're going to lose it back again. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder who's putting... Maybe it's just Khmer. Because they have a freaking size 15 city there. They're just putting so much pressure up there. I mean, you do also have India over there. That's the only thing I can think of. Indonesia. One city, but we are about to settle in Australia. And Australia is, must be broke, because they're still at two cities. I have no idea what's happening over there. I don't know if Australia and me are friendly. I don't know how that's working. Um, Puche is still only at two as well. Brazil uh, still at four. Uh, Aztec still at two, but they do they did end up getting their settler back, and it looks like they're trying to throw down another city. Korea up to four. Uh, America's at two, and they're trying to put down number three, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. So things are getting pretty... Um, sorry, bump the mic. Things are, are bouncing out, I think, here a little bit. Now, can it looks like Poland's actually moving on Pella, which uh, would help them a lot <laughs> since they're still stuck at one. I wonder if we stop the automation here, if we can hit the hotkeys. I hate how you have to hit the hotkeys like five times, but... Let's take a quick look at the score and see if we can kind of uh, extrapolate who's who um, from looking at the score, but we'll see. We'll see. I don't think we're in last, especially now that we have a second city down. Ooh, we met a few more people. <laughs> and hey, we're friendly with Australia, so Austra uh, so we should be okay with this city. I'm um, not going to have it conquered anytime soon. Really now? That is not what I expected. I did not expect India to be in first place. I wonder why. They only had three cities. Maybe because Wonders? It's definitely not because of Empire size, 61. No, their empire is one of the largest ones. Hmm. I'm pretty... I'm surprised by that. I really am. Then they have quite a few technology and era score. It looks like era score is really taking them over the top. Yeah. 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 Okay. So what age are we in now? We are currently in the classical age. Although... Oh, okay. Shantagrupa. So he is up in the medieval age. So he's kind of way ahead of everyone right now. Yeah, and he's also, yeah, yeah, he's in a, uh, a golden age. And then we had two, uh, 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 what are these called? What are these called again? Golden age, and then heroic ages. So both Japan and Australia are in a heroic age. I'm actually impressed that Japan ended up in a heroic age. They must have met a bunch of people. They're still only in size, uh, or one city, though. Yeah, you're only at three cities, dude. How how do you have a larger empire than Scythia? How does that work? The thing is, like, even though they're in first place right now, it's not going to stay that way. Because Scythia, as their culture starts expanding, uh, and, and as they start taking over more and more tiles with their city, they are going to definitely uh, um, have a much higher empire score. So we'll see. Poland actually looks like they're going to take a second town. Woot. Spain is currently losing the war to the free city, so there you go. <laughs> uh, and I still have no idea what's going on down here. Absolutely no idea. I think Zulu broke, guys. I'm pretty sure Zulu broke. Mapuche, still at two. 
and I don't see a third settler. Um, Brazil's still up four. Brazil's probably the most disappointing one right now. Because they could easily have six, seven cities right now, but they don't. Uh, Aztecs have three cities. They ended up losing one of their settlers, but um, they might be able to put another city down. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Mapuche at four. They really need to start coming and settling over here. Um, America and Korea are at war with each other. Here it comes. Here it comes. Ooh, snap. America is actually pretty strong, too. They have quite a few swordsmen. The Korea have quite a few archers. So this is going to be an intriguing battle here. Are these American or Korea? These are American. Ooh, we have the Northern American invasion. Ooh. Okay, so I think America could win this. They're kind of out of position a little bit, but we'll see. We'll see. If America could take a city from the Korea, uh, they might have a chance long term. If they, if this turns out to be one of those uh, Pyrrhic Wars, then yeah, probably not. Poland got a second city. Good, 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 good. So, um... Also, too, Norway kind of ended up just, like, sputtering out. Australia declared war on in Indonesia. Crap. Crap. Well, there went our city. Yeah, there's no way in hell America or Indonesia wins this. <laughs> uh, poor Indonesia. Love your Kapongs, though. They look great. Khmer, dude. Freaking size 16 city. Why? Oh, my gosh. All these farms. I love it. It's great. How is my city doing? One, two, three, four, five, six. You actually lost the city. Okay. Okay. I feel like Scythia is one of those sieves that I'm always disappointed by in the game. Where I always anticipate that they are going to do really, really well. And then they kind of sputter out. And I'm kind of like, man, all right. I thought you were going to do a lot better than that. So... Turn on auto camera to see if we could see a little more about what's happening, but nah, not really. So Australia did end up taking uh, Indonesia's city, their second city. So hey, Indonesia, hey, you got this island right here. Go settle there. Also, uh, they ended up settling their third city finally. So um, they're up to four, and they don't seem broke anymore. So hey, hey, I guess good for them. Bully for you. Oh uh, wait, that's America. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, you're still broke. And Zanzibar actually got conquered uh, by Nubia. So, really, what we need to cheer for right now is we need to cheer that Zulu conquers Congo soon, uh, so that they, uh, so that Zulu doesn't fall too far behind uh, Nubia, because Nubia is in a really, really strong spot. They're also they still have their uh, units right now, their special units, so they're in a really, really good spot. Uh, and if they can come over here and start conquering Arabia, eek, eek, eek. One, two, three, four, five. Still for Samaria. And it seems like they're a little content with where they're at. Same thing with India. Yeah, they just seem to be content right now. Uh, Korea is now one, two, three, four, five. And uh, their loyalty is maxed out. So there are five. Oh, they actually have six. They've gone to you over there. Uh, Scythia is fighting some barbarians, but they still seem to be in a decent spot. They're trying to take their free city back, unfortunately. Eh, eh. We should take a look at religion here, but problem with the religion is such a big map. I just don't see it happening. And the AI seems to be really, really bad at actually winning a religious victory. Amsterdam is still... <laughs> uh, Spain, you are so disappointing. Oh, how's our war going over here? Let's see. It's kind of hard to see because uh, all the colors are so similar. Um, but it definitely appears as if... The Kree are going to survive. I think what ended up happening is because they had so many archers, they were just able to shoot down uh, the swordsmen from America. Aztecs are still at three cities. Brazil are still at four cities. What the heck happened, Brazil? Seriously, what the heck happened? And then Mapuche uh, still are at two without any extra settlers. Can I ask what the hell happened there, too, man? I'm not entirely sure what's happening here. Um, you're still at four. Okay. Indonesia. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so this is very, very bad for us. Um, I don't think they can take this. Nah, nah. And they probably, yeah, I was going to say they probably pieced this out because they declared war on Khmer. Okay, good. Wow. So uh, that would have been bad because game might have bugged out if we would have been conquered. So Norway has a large fleet and quite a few troops, uh, but they don't appear to be aggressive at all. Also, there's not too many uh, uh, cities that are on the coast for them to conquer unless you come way down here. Samaria is trying to conquer Rome, but I don't think it's going to happen because of the amount of free cities. They really need to come take Ra Cadet, uh, uh, which it looks like they're trying to do. 
But it also looks like Nubia is moving in on it as well. So we'll see. We'll see. Zulu and... America made peace with Korea. That's unfortunate. Zulu and uh, uh, Nubia seem to be getting along, which is unfortunate for us. America did lose quite a bit of its fighting force, though. Yeah, so the Korea are in a decent spot now. I hate... If there's one disappointment I have with this game sometimes, it's like a lot of times you will just see the AI just kind of sputter out with each other. You know, they end up fighting each other, and then it's just like... They, they battle a little bit, and then they're like, eh, whatever, you know, and then really no one ends up winning the war, so no one gets an advantage, and really all they just did was knock each other out of the game long term, so that's kind of disappointing. Uh, all right, so I think we're going to end up um, stopping the automation and putting a pause in the game here. Um... I don't think India, I doubt India is still in first place. Like, surely not. I didn't think India would be in first place before either. So, who knows? Who knows? Uh, ooh, actually, they ended up taking the city from, okay, they ended up taking it from Scythia. So, maybe they are still in first place. We'll see. Scythia is fighting someone. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. It looks like it's probably the city state they're still at war with. Uh, okay, so let's look at score victory. Unmet players in first place and in second place, and India is in third. Um... Probably Sumeria and Scythia is still my assumption, right? No, no, no. Nubia's got to be up there. Nubia has to be up there. Uh, Korea, we can see. We can also see Australia. We are not in dead last. Someone's still at 14 score. Okay, so someone must still have a settler with no city. That must be what's going on down there. Uh, overall victory, can we see anything of note? Um, Korea has the second largest army, I guess. And Korea is in first place in tech, and uh, India is in second place, so I guess there's that. And then religion, can't really see there. So, yeah. All right, well, we're going to wrap it up here. Hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, and share your support. I'll see you guys later. Bye.